Alrighty, before you guys say anything, yes, I am filming this on the same day as I filmed my intro uh, for my shoe collection video. It's just when I have time, my camera's already set up, I'm completely ready to film, so today is when I'm doing it, so it is the same day, I don't just dress the same and do my makeup the exact same every single day. Hello everybody! Today I decided to do some hedgehog care tips and tricks and uh, she's really grumpy at me right now because we are bunny sitting some little rabbits and um, she's not really a fan of them and she is mad at me for holding them. And I try to hold her, but ever since the rabbits have been here, she's been like jealous and cranky. So that's why she's all huffy. But yeah, I thought I would just do some hedgehog care tips and tricks for you guys because I've had her for over a year and I love this little girl so much. Even when she's grouchy and mad at me for babysitting some bunnies. Uh, yeah, so, ah, um, I shall hop right into it if I can find my notes. Let me see. So the question that I get asked most often about her, and it's the very first question out of people's mouths normally, other than does she hurt to hold, is, um, what do you feed her? And the answer is... I'm going to set her down. High protein cat food. And I know that seems crazy simple and that's because it is. Um, we just feed her high protein cat food. So the cat food that we have is, let me get it for you guys. This, it's Ideal Balance and um, by the Hills and it's indoor for indoor cats, and it's natural chicken and turkey recipe, so lots of protein. And I have found this to be a very good brand. We have only tried one other brand with her, and that was the kind that she came with when uh, we got her very first. And when you first get them, they need kitten food and uh, then you gradually mix in um, cat food and as long as it's high protein it should be okay but I completely trust in this brand for her it's done her really well and she loves it and I've had no issues with it so far so um, I don't know if about any other brands and I don't really want to try venturing out for any other brands as well um, because this brand has been doing her a lot of good and it's been good for her and it does the job so I want to stick with this brand but it's got uh, a lot of good stuff so it's got fish oil and barley apples and broccoli oats and then turkey and chicken so I found this to be really good and beneficial for her so yeah high protein cat food is what they eat and for drinking uh, I am fairly certain that they can drink out of a water bowl. However, I have found it easiest to just teach her how to drink out of a water bottle. Uh, we got this water bottle at PetSmart. It's been really good. Occasionally, it will leak just a little bit. But I found that every time you fill it up, if you wipe off the inside rim of this before screwing the top back on once you've refilled it, it doesn't really give you any issues leaking wise. So I've had no problem with this, and um, if your hedgehog has trouble first starting out and doesn't know how, um, the way you teach them is you guide them over to the water bottle and you tap your finger against this and let them lick the water off your finger and gradually get your finger closer and closer until they are drinking out of the water bottle. But um, you shouldn't have any issues with this. A big water bottle is going to be plenty of water for them. You don't need like a massive water bottle or massive water bowl. But I prefer water bottles just because they're less mess and um, they're not gonna stomp all in it or tip it over or just like annihilate the bottom of their cage with water. So 
water bottle is definitely my choice and my recommendation for any of you guys out there. All right, the next thing on my list to consider when getting one of these little guys, or girls in her case, she's a girl, um, is you have to have time to hold them and preferably in the evening. Um, it is suggested that you hold them for at least one hour a day and they are nocturnal. You can get them used to being up and about during the daytime, but as you see right now, she is grumpy at me for multiple reasons and one reason is, is I have her out and about during the day. They are nocturnal animals, so if you, when you get them out, you should try and hold them more toward the evening and night hours when they're already starting to wake up and want to be active um, because they are nocturnal animals and that's when they'll be uh, least grumpy. I know when someone comes and wakes me up in the middle of the night, I'm not a happy camper and that goes for them too. Um, if you're getting them out like morning and during lunchtime, they're probably going to be a bit grumpy because that's like the middle of the night for them. Um, yes, but you have to hold them often to get them acquainted with you. And I'm sorry she's being so grumpy right now, but she really is just not a happy camper with me. Um, but yeah, you have to hold them, well, you don't have to, but it is recommended at least one hour a day is what you should be spending time with them. Um, yeah, but one hour a day and in the evening. And uh, another way to get them acquainted with your scent a lot quicker is to just take it an old t-shirt that you have like spent a couple days in without washing and then if you stick it in their cage with them and uh, just leave it in their cage with them for a few days, that will get them more acquainted with your smell a lot quicker. And uh, I definitely recommend you do this. I did this with her and it definitely warmed her up to me a lot faster. And uh, I think it was really good because it you just give her time with, uh, or him, your shirt and it gets them used to your smell and then when you go to pick them up next they're gonna recognize your scent and not be so wary of you and grumpy at you so yeah the shirt trick uh, was a really handy trick to use with hedgehogs okay i'm gonna put her down now because she is just being a little feisty head because she is not happy with me are you you're not happy with me, are you, Aurora? I'm sorry that I brought bunnies into your home, huh? I'm sorry that I brought other animals into your home. I still love you. Yes, I do. All right. Okay, another thing to note about hedgehogs is they need a lot of exercise. And though they do most of their exercising at night, when they get up and start moving around, they still need the exercise. So first things first, you're gonna need a medium to larger cage, like a tiny little cage isn't gonna do much for them because there are just some things that you need. For example, they need a wheel to run in because if they don't have a wheel to run in, they're not going to be able to get their exercise and hedgehogs need exercise. So one of the ways that you can help them get their exercise is by giving them a wheel. Um, another way is a hamster ball. Um, we tried out a lot smaller hamster ball that we thought was going to be okay for her. Um, Turns out it wasn't. She still fit in it, but she couldn't roll around in it and she didn't really know what to do. Then we got her this bigger hamster ball and I think this was an 11 or 12 inch. I don't really remember, I'm super sorry. Um, again, I got this at PetSmart. Um, I have found this to be incredibly useful. Though a hamster ball is not a necessity, a wheel will be just fine and they can run around on the ground without a hamster ball. I definitely recommend you guys get a ball. Um, the reason being is I can stick her in this and one, she's a lot easier to keep track of, two, I don't have to worry about her going 
under any furniture, getting stuck in anything. Because hedgehogs are naturally quite curious, so they like to stick their head in things and poke around and have a look, but sometimes their quills can go in, but they're pokey, and so they can't get their heads back out all of the time. Um, so it's just easy for me to stick her in this uh, during the day and let her get some exercise and roll around in this um, like toward the evening and uh, let her run around in her ball and she can get the exercise, she can sniff through the cracks and explore everything she wants to and have complete freedom of the house but I can also get done what I need to do whether that be cleaning or editing or whatever I need to do and not have to constantly worry about her getting stuck somewhere or getting into something that she shouldn't. So uh, if you're gonna have your hedgehog out and running around and having free reign of the house, which is really nice, but I recommend you guys get a hamster ball. Um, if you don't want a hamster ball and you wanna still let them run around, a playpen is another option. I recommend a hamster ball. It's been really nice and it's done its job well, so a hamster ball is definitely a must in my opinion. Also for the cage, you don't need a closed top cage. Um, though you want it den-like, so part of the cage you're gonna want covered at the bottom, but you don't need the top covered. They're not gonna climb out or do anything, but they do like it den feeling. Another thing that is nice to get your hedgehog are some toys. Um, what I have for her, I have this little pillow a friend made, uh, just some felt little hedgehogs, because a hedgehog playing with hedgehogs, I just thought was really cute. Um, a little cat toy and a tiny, tiny tennis ball. I'll show you in comparison to my dog. My dog plays with the next size up from this. This is a really small tennis ball. Um, and this, I, I got all of these at PetSmart. These were in the cat aisle, this was in the dog, um, and this was homemade. But simple, nice little toys that she can just get out and play with and use and she loves them. I wake up and I find this ball and one half of her cage one night and then I wake up in the morning and it's like all the way by like on the opposite end of her cage the next. So they, she does play with them and she loves them. So toys, I definitely recommend that you guys get toys for your hedgehog just because the wheel sometimes isn't enough and you wanna give him or her options and so toys are a great way to do that. And again, just really small dog balls or like cat toys work for them. Now going along with their cage in terms of like bedding and such, uh, you don't need any special types of bedding and plus they can be sensitive to certain types of bedding. So all you really need to get is a piece of felt to line the bottom of their cage with and maybe some little shredded pieces of felt to put inside their igloo and they need an igloo. Um, so a felt and an igloo are next on my list for musts of what you have to have for your hedgehog. Um, so felt just to line the bottom of their cage and little bits and pieces that they can kind of burrow in and get under and over and sleep in and kind of make little nests in. Um, to put under their igloo and an igloo is another must like I said they need somewhere to go during the day where they can sleep and kind of just relax that blocks out the Sun and all that stuff so a little dome a little igloo something for them to go and be in for the day another cage essential is a litter box and they're fairly easy actually to litter box train um, what I do is I just get this tin um, to put under the wheel and you feel, if you feel, you fill that with litter and uh, slide that right up under the wheel and they just go while they're in the wheel and so eventually they'll make the connection that they'll stop running, they'll get out, they'll go to the bathroom right in their litter box and get back in and start running and it becomes a habit and they start going in their litter box. The only downside of the litter box is they like to dig. 
Um, so getting maybe like a planter or some form of dirt for them to dig around in would also be like recommended. I don't have one for Aurora, but I would like to get one eventually because they do like to dig around. So they can kind of make a mess of their litter sometimes, but a litter box is definitely recommended so they're not pooping and peeing just on their felt and you won't have to clean it as often. You should clean the cage fairly often, like maybe once every week and a half, two weeks if you really want to push it, but I recommend like once every week, week and a half is when you should clean their cage. Um, but they do dig around in their litter, but a litter box does make it a lot less smelly and make it a lot cleaner of a cage overall, even if they have strewn litter all over it. <laughs> Um, the litter that we use specifically is by Purina and it's Tidy Cats and it's a clay litter and another thing about the litter for hedgehogs is you have to get a non-clumping litter. Um, this is essential for hedgehogs because if you get a clumping litter it can stick to their little behinds and they won't be able to get it off and it can cause infection and a whole lot of problems for them so you have to get a non-clumping kind so that it doesn't stick to them and kind of get crusty up in there and you don't really have to worry about that so a non-clumping litter is the healthiest way to go for a hedgehog. Moving on to bath time. Um, bath time you're gonna want warm water that is not too hot so like lukewarm water to like semi warmer water than that but around like lukewarm water is normally good nothing too cold nothing like scalding hot it's kind of like you're bathing a baby um, and a gentle baby shampoo would be really good or coconut oil and I prefer coconut oil um, and I just use, it's by Spectrum, and it's an organic coconut oil. This is just what it looks like. Um, I don't remember where I got this. I think it was Walmart, so it's fairly cheap. But I just take this, and I drip it all over her, and I lather it in, and that's what I use to wash her. And it gets her clean, and hydrates her skin, and it's just... It's great for her. And what I use to rub it in with is a toothbrush. And you want a soft bristled toothbrush. So basically any kid or child toothbrush should be okay. Um, I just got her this one. It's got little mermaids on it. Um, but it's just a soft bristled toothbrush and you use that to like brush her quills and her underbelly and just, just kind of scrub her off. And so bath time is pretty easy. Um, another tip is their fingernails grow really fast and if your hedgehog hates getting their nails clipped, an easy way to loosen up your hedgehog is uh, water. So sticking them in warm water will loosen up your hedgehog and make them open up and make it easier to clip their nails. So what I like to do is I will clip Aurora's nails at the same time we give her a bath and it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So we get it all done, just boom, boom, in one go. So at the time we give her a bath and then right after we whip out the fingernail clippers and we clip her nails. And so the water's going, she's loosened up and she's good to go. And you don't, you shouldn't bathe a hedgehog too often. They don't need it, it can be bad for them. However, they do need baths. So I normally like to give Aurora a bath about every two weeks or so uh, just because that's about when she needs it in my opinion I don't want to be unhealthy with her in the way of baths and that's really all she needs is a bath about once every two weeks um, though sometimes we do need to clip her nails more often than that so it just kind of depends you're obviously going to get to the point where you're going to need to clean her cage um, so for that you're going to want a good cage cleaner. Uh, the cage cleaner that we have is this Nature's Miracle cage cleaner. I believe you can get it at almost any pet store. I think we got this at PetSmart. Um, it's just Nature's Miracle cage cleaner and it's for small animals. So it's specifically for smaller animals like Aurora, a hedgehog. Um, it just says it cleans and deodorizes small animal cages, naturally removes tough on caked on debris, and then penetrates um, strong odors and there's no masking perfumes but this is proven really well we mainly use this on her wheel and sometimes 
her big hamster ball. Um, but we just spray this all over it and kind of soak the wheel or whatever we're cleaning in this and some water and let it sit for a few minutes and then we go and rinse it off and we scrub it out with this scrubbing brush. Um, we got this at a Winco. It's just soft bristled, um, but they're pointy and it comes right off and it's just a super easy, quick clean. So that's really it for cleaning the cage. Mainly you just need to wipe out the igloo though. The igloos don't get too messy. Um, wipe out the bowl. You could throw the bowl in the dishwasher. We just have a ceramic bowl. And uh, throw her felt and any cloth toys in the washing machine whenever you do laundry. And that's it for cage cleaning. So cage cleaning is super easy and low maintenance in my opinion. Um, I know a lot of other small animals that take a lot more in-depth cage cleaning than she does. So for a technically exotic pet, she's really low maintenance, which is great. The last point I'm going to touch on for now or else I could make this video super, super long and I've already been filming for almost half an hour, so it's getting pretty up there in time, um, is treats. Now, they like mealworms or cat treats you can give them, so any softer type Cat treats, they can be hard cat treats, it's not anything too hard, they have to be able to bite it with their little jaws. Um, or mealworms, live or dehydrated. Um, any bits of like small carrot and stuff like that, you can give them. Um, you can look up a more in-depth, comprehensive list of what you can give them treat-wise. Uh, I don't have any treats for Aurora. We used to try to give her mealworms and little bits of dried out strawberry and carrot and uh, even cat treats. Well, we haven't tried cat treats actually, I don't think. I don't remember. But uh, for some reason, Aurora doesn't like treats. Um, you have to be careful on treats though if your hedgehog does like treats. They can go a little bit overboard and get overweight. It's easy for them to get overweight. Thankfully, Aurora doesn't have that problem. She doesn't overeat. If they overeat, you have to look up uh, what your serving size for your hedgehog size is and give them that amount. However, for her, we just fill up her food bowl and she eats when she's hungry. She doesn't overeat. And on top of that, she doesn't like treats. So we don't have that problem with her. Um, though that is something to look out for if you guys do have a hedgehog or are planning on getting a hedgehog is they can tend to overeat. So you can give them those types of treats, though I would be careful on how much you give them because they can overeat and it can be bad for them. All right, well, that is all that I have for you guys for today. Um, I could probably think of a lot more to say, but I didn't want to make this video too, too long, and it was kind of getting to that point. Um, however, those are my main tips and tricks that I have for you guys. I really hope that you find them useful or just entertaining or interesting at the very least. Um, and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you guys next time. Say bye, Aurora! <laughs> Say bye! Bye, guys. <laughs> she is so grouchy with me. Oh my gosh.